Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking and today we are going to be making beef stroganoff. Ooh, yummy. Today we're using just what you would call like uh, stew meat. So we're gonna start with our beef. Joe's gonna generously hit it with that SPG, a little salt, pepper, garlic. Salt, pepper, garlic is my favorite for uh, beef, for everything. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a good toss, get, it, get the seasoning coated on all the sides. Pan is heating up. Ooh, she's hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of olive oil in there too. With our beef, I think we're working with about two and a half. We're less than three pounds, somewhere between two and a half and three pounds here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start popping these in. Ooh, hear that sizzle. Sizzle in. I'm just gonna hit it with a little extra black pepper right here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our first set of meat here. It's nice and browned up and get that second one in. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting our veggies up. Ooh, this knife is nice. Joe is using a new knife today. Not what? not an expensive knife, but a very good review knife. What did you pay for this knife? This was about $38. Now that's really your preference. Me and Joe go, when we do veggies, we always dice. We like them small. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more butter. Mm. Get it melted around. Now today for veggies, we're using onions and some bell pepper. Traditionally, this dish is made with mushrooms. Neither me and Joe like or eat mushrooms. And like we say all the time on this channel, cook to your taste, your preferences. And we do you. So we were kind of looking at what we could use to replace the mushroom. Joe had a couple bell peppers and I said, you know what, that sounds good to me. So that's what we're doing. So a little untraditional in that sense. Get these veggies in there. All right, Joe's gonna hit these with just a little bit of salt. That salt will help sweat these down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna cut up the garlic. So we're gonna get and add in a little olive oil and drop in our garlic, get it browned up. So we got our veggie medley going here to that. We're gonna add a little bit of flour and get this all coated up. Get the flour browned up a little bit, get that raw taste out of it. We're gonna take our Worcestershire sauce here. So we're gonna use the Worcestershire to deglaze the pan. You got all the little brown bits from the steak, the veggie sticking, all, it's all flavor just on the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna use the Worcestershire to loosen that up and get it in the mix. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our beef back in. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this broth off here. The last thing we're gonna put in, beef broth. We got about two cups here. Now you can add more as needed. All right, we got our beef simmering now. You could take this up to anywhere from like an hour and a half to two hours on a real nice low simmer, just adding broth as needed so it doesn't run out and stirring so it's not sticking. The longer it cooks, I mean, not like forever, but it will get that beef nice and tender. Our stroganoff is all cooked up, smells delicious. We like a lot of gravy. We got a lot of gravy in this pan. Last thing we're gonna add to that is some sour cream. Oh, I should say we killed the heat and uh, we're gonna add the sour cream. And it's gonna bring a real nice creamy consistency to our beef stroganoff. Last thing you're gonna do, just give it one last taste. Maybe you want a little more salt, maybe a little more pepper. 
And of course, you can always finish it on your plate with a little more salt and pepper as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add in our egg noodles and let them cook. All right, guys. So this was our beef stroganoff. We cooked uh, some, up some egg noodles, threw a little butter on them. But honestly, you could serve this over whatever you want. You could serve this over rice. Like the way we made it, we have a lot of gravy the way we made it. So, oh, mashed potatoes. You could, that's what I was gonna say. You could serve this over mashed potatoes. So let's get in there and give it a taste, Joey. Cause... Oh yeah. All right, I got some noodles, a big old slab of meat. Mm. All right, guys. So this was our take on beef stroganoff, a little bit different on some of the ingredients we use, but we use what we liked. It turned out great. We appreciate if you give us a like and subscribe, follow us on all of our social medias. And also we're gonna be having more um, short videos coming out, which is on TikTok, is a TikTok video, is a short, and on Instagram, Instagram is a real. real. So if you like shorts, check those out. We're gonna be trying to push out more of those. But our so editor said we're gonna have to be responsible for editing that, so I don't know what they're gonna look like. Yeah, we'll see. So they might be coming out, they may not. We, otherwise, we're gonna have to pay our editor more. It's always better when you make it yourself. j Bros out. It's always better when you make beef stroganoff yourself. j Bros out. Oh, oh, what happened, Pepper? Daisy's up here on the counter. She ain't messing around. Ooh, yummy, huh, Daisy? Yeah.